In this video, we're going to go ahead and discuss two fragrances that I discovered from the house of Rocha that I rarely speak about. In fact, I probably have never mentioned this house. The fragrances that we're going to go ahead and discuss today are Oud Mystère, which comes in this box. And then also we're going to talk about Eau de Rocha Om, that comes in this box. These are both under $100, and in fact, both of these are around $55, $65. Really bang for your buck. A uh, classic French house. So, we're going to do that coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. And that's right, we're going to go ahead and talk about these two fragrances from the House of Rocha. This is Oud Mystère, and it comes from the Secret de Rocha collection of fragrances. It's an Oud, of course. And then this one is Rocha Eau de Rocha Om. Why don't we go ahead and get started with the Oud Mystère, this one. So it's in a tube uh, like this. First off, I want to mention that I have a, a friend here in San Francisco who's a perfumista, uh, works in perfumes, and he was mentioning these two fragrances are great for what you get from this house. Um, so that's why I decided to go ahead and uh, pick them up, and uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, you know who you are. So let's go ahead and get started with Rocha Oud Mystère first. This comes from the collection called Secret de Rocha. This was a 2014 launch, so it's fairly new. This is Eau de Parfum concentration in 100 ml, like this, like this, retails currently at Amazon for $55. So it's a really, really great deal. I don't have the actual uh, price of this uh, in suggested retail, but for $55, 100 ml Eau de Parfum, I think it's great. And we're gonna go ahead and smell and I'm gonna tell you all about the, the smell. And the, the nose behind this one is Jean-Michel Durier. I haven't heard of this nose and I don't know anything about his creations, but um, we'll find out what it's all about. And for notes here, we've got rose, saffron, oud, woodsy notes, spices, patchouli, gardenia, and olibanum. So you pretty much know what you're gonna get. It's an oud with rose, but you know, the, the friend I was mentioning to you about had brought this bottle for us when we were having coffee and I smelled it and I was like, wow, this is really, really nice. Um, it's a fragrance I hadn't heard about and uh, I don't much talk about this brand as I mentioned, Rocha. It, it's definitely a house to check out. And when I remember smelling this, it was definitely oud, but it has something uh, champagne-like quality, like a bubbly, fizzy, sparkly. So it had a light airiness to it. So if you like an oud, but you don't like how intense and um, heavy it could be. I, I think this one's really perfect for it from what I remember when I first smelled it because of that bubbly, fizzy sparkliness. Uh, it kind of like lightens up the heavy oud. So let's go ahead and smell that. Three sprays. And immediately I'm picking up the rose oud and a little bit of like, you know how oud and rose kind of has this like Oriental, uh, Middle Eastern type vibe. I'm picking that up. And I haven't even smelled the strip yet, so it seems pretty strong. And the rose is kicking in right off the bat. And, um, but again, it doesn't come off heavy. It seems like there's a light, airy quality to uh, Rocha Oud Mister. So re really, I think it's really, really lovely. Like a, a great bang for your buck for $55 an Oud. Uh, it smells excellent, actually. Um, it's like I said, when you want an oud, but you don't want that heavy, thick denseness with it. This one's quite lovely, and um, for 55 bucks, I really recommend it. I'll have a link to Amazon below. You can check it out there. But uh, I, I, I'm in love with it, and I kind of see myself wearing this in the summertime, but cooler weather. And definitely, I think this is perfect for spring and fall. I think this is going to come in really handy during the fall months, uh, which is just around the corner. Uh, I'm anticipating fall already, um, but, um, uh, but still, yeah, you can wear this one definitely in the summertime, uh, but definitely not when it's hot out, because um, it does have some uh, beefiness. But that beefiness is there, but still comes off very light and airy. So I, I recommend you checking it out. So do check out Oud Mystère from the Secret de Rocha collection by Rocha. 
All right, so that's that one. And the next one is Eau de Rocha Om. Now it comes in this box. Now this is a classic fragrance. This was launched in 1993, so it's um, over um, 20 years old, getting close to 30 years old. It's Eau de Toilette. It's a 100 ml bottle. And currently this was selling for $63 at Amazon. The nose for this fragrance is Nicholas Mamunas. I think that's how you pronounce it. Another nose I haven't heard of. So let's go ahead and open this one up. This one's a simpler box. It is Eau de Toilette, it's a men's fragrance. And that's what it looks like. Um, but I had smelled this in the past and I remember this one. For notes here, you've got lime, lemon, lemon verbena, bergamot, vetiver, oak moss, aldehydes, orange, basil, cedar, coriander, freesia, musk, carnation, lily of the valley, violet, jasmine, rose, and amber. So I just want to say this is a classic men's fragrance. And if you like fragrances like Eau Sauvage, Green Water, things like that, kind of classy, but freshy kind of men's fragrances, definitely do put your nose on this one and like I said this is 100 mil for 63 bucks and it, it's definitely uh, recommended. I'll have a link in the info box with this one too but it's it's just a pleasant pleasant scent and again it's in that same family of Dior Eau Sauvage, Green Water by Jacques Fat, and also something like Balmain Monsieur Balmain and I think this and Balmain Monsieur Balmain came out around the same time. I think they were both from the early, well, this one's definitely 93. And from what I remember, Balmain, Monsieur Balmain also did come out in the early 90s. So they kind of have similarities. It's that lemon citrus um, herbal kind of aromatic kind of composition that is a very signature of men's classic fragrances. So uh, do check out Eau de Rocha. And of course, also check out um, this one, Oud Mystère by Rocha. Both of these are excellently, excellently priced and I recommend them as great, great fragrances. Um, a lighter oud with, but still with some potency and of course a classy men's everyday kind of scent. I, I, I recommend both of these so do check them out. And the prices can't be beat for both of these and uh, uh, there you have it. That's my first impressions of these fragrances although um, this one I've actually sampled many times the, you know, another thing I want to add is Rocha is not a brand that's represented in the States much. Um, but I do see this fragrance when I visit France in the Sephora stores. So it is sold in Sephora's, but even, even there I think it's a little bit more difficult, but much easier. But places like Sephora or other department stores that sell fragrances, uh, it's kind of complicated for us to find this brand Rocha. So, I think the, the online retailers are the best place to check them out. And if you don't want to jump on a full bottle, I recommend you get yourself a sample or a decan or something before you jump at a bottle. But the prices are so cheap around the $50 mark, $50, $60 mark. So even if it sucks, which I know they don't, you're still not breaking the bank, if that makes sense. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this house, Rocha. What do you think about Oud Mystère? Have you tried it? Have you tried Rocha Eau de Rocha Ohm? Uh, are you interested or curious to try them out? Please let me know so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.